Hey guys, tonight I'm making my grandma's famous meatloaf. There are a lot of ways to make meatloaf, but ours is probably my favorite. We're Italian, so basically we just make a giant meatball. This is my grandma's recipe. It's pretty easy. I'll show you how to do it. It is about two pounds of ground beef. You can use ground turkey if you prefer that. I've got three cloves of garlic, two eggs, one per pound, garlic and parsley seasoning, Italian seasoning, Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, and a little bit of mozzarella. I also have some red potatoes I'm gonna cut up and put on the side. First, I'm adding the garlic. I like mine kind of chopped into bigger pieces, not so fine, because I like to eat my garlic and see it in the meatloaf. Two eggs. I do this by I, maybe teaspoon to a tablespoon of garlic and parsley, probably about two tablespoons, like one per pound of Italian seasoning. I love some Parmesan, so we're gonna do about the same for that. And the breadcrumbs, we're gonna do second. I have about a cup onto the side. It just depends on the consistency. So what we're gonna do, make sure your hands are nice and clean. Take off your rings and just start mixing. Got my breadcrumbs here. I'm just gonna do a fourth cup maybe. Mix that in, see how that goes. So, I don't know if you can see this consistency, that's how I like mine. I'm gonna add the mozzarella cheese. About a half cup of cheese. Not too much. This is mozzarella. You could do some fresh Parmesan if you want. I just want it to melt into the meat while it's cooking. I think that would be delicious. It's not something my grandma used to do. It's just something I'm adding in here to give it some extra flavor. Because I love cheese. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take my olive oil spray that I have. You can just drizzle normal olive oil and kind of grease my pan. I'm going to put my potatoes on this pan as well. So I'm going to make sure I get a little bit extra on there. Now, for the meatloaf, you can do one big loaf. That's what some people do. Tonight, I think I'm gonna do it a little bit differently and do two or three smaller loaves so it cooks a little bit faster. And that way I can freeze one for later because it's just Kobe and I. If it was a big family, it might be easier to just do one loaf. But what I'm gonna do here is take just a good chunk of this, roll it into a ball, kind of like I would a meatball, and then start to flatten it here. A little bit more. And there's no perfect way to do this. <laughs> it's just however you like. It could be fun to make shapes for kids, like little hearts or I don't know, Mickey Mouse. So there's one. So I went ahead and cut my red potatoes in half or in fourths. I melted some butter with some crushed garlic. I'm just gonna pour that over these potatoes. And um, some salt. Some pepper. 
I'm gonna do my best to kind of toss this around. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I got my meatloaf here. I'm gonna just put these on the edges. Separate them so they get nice and crispy. Some salt and pepper. Okay, so we're all done. It looks super good. I'm just gonna show you how I plate this now. Take my meatloaf. Mm, it smells delicious. Got some potatoes here. 